Oh, come oh, there on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yep. No, you're good. No. Okay. There here we go. go. There you it all go. kicked in. All right. Here we are. Hey. All right. Hello, sir. All right. I'm sorry. I can't use my camera. Right, it sucks. It's going through. Uh, it's going through the stream though. Unfortunately. Uh man. But hey. All right. Cool. This is. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, on, on, let me see. I might be able to get him on video here. Let me see if I can put him on the actual stream here. Let's uh, swap to my desktop here. Let's see what I can do. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a, uh, a guru when it comes to CAD. Of course, most of you that have watched my videos have also seen his. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can't. Well, I don't know. I I don't know that I would call myself a guru, but uh, compared to me, I'm yeah, trying. I would say so. Hey, there Ooh. he is. Let's <laughs> put him in the corner. Let's put him like. Okay, you've got. <laughs> let's put him like. Right there's a bit. There. There's a bit of a delay there, but hey, that's that, good it'll enough. It'll work. It'll work. There you go. There we go. That All right. Awesome. Cool. Well, this is the crossover of of the century, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I will have to agree with you. <laughs> we don't even, other than CAD, we don't even know what we're doing. CAD, we don't even know what we're doing. We talked I about mean, we talked something about to do with CAD. We we, we never CAD. really. Yeah, we, we'll we'll do something that has to do with with CAD, and we'll do yeah. it with Libre. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. And uh, and I'm wearing I'm wearing my special T-shirt. Oh, heck yeah. I need a Libre T-shirt. Guys, hit, hit me up. I'll buy a T-shirt. You don't have to send yeah, me one. Yeah, I'll pay yeah. for it. Send me one. I'll pay for it. A Libre, hit yeah. me up. Well, I think I think that you gave... I think that you're the one who gave the, the idea to send me a T-shirt to wear on <laughs> on speed modeling uh, okay. you know, videos. That's a so, good idea. Okay. That's a yeah. good idea. Okay. So everybody, we uh well, firstly, maybe I should actually open up a Libre here, huh? That might be a good place to start. See, I see you've got in I see you're in the Tutol Toby practice models and it I says am. premium members only. Yeah. What's um, that all about? Yeah. I'm I I don't want to say too much because I'm I'm kind of in the middle on that. He paywalled a lot of them. You have to pay ten dollars oh, really? a month oh, now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so okay. well, I'm I'm somewhere in the middle because I understand that like the money's gonna go towards adding new models and new features and stuff like that. But I also don't yeah. want this community to become a walled garden. Become a walled garden. Yeah. So. Um. So. Yeah. Well, um, he's putting a lot of effort into it. Yes. Right. Yep. And that I will say, and if yeah, he's going to add a tons lot of features of and make it worth the ten dollars a month, then absolutely. So, but for right yeah, now, yeah. we're going to stick with the ones that are available uh, to me without paying for now, and we will see uh, what we can do. So, I guess we'll just click on the next one that I haven't done, which for me is uh, twenty four oh seven ten, the tier five. Okay. I guess we'll have to put it over here. Normally I have it over there, but I've got you over there, so we'll see here. Uh, you can kind of get a sneak peek here if you kind of look through the date. Some kind of disc shape or something. I can't quite tell what that is. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. See what we can do. See what we can do. Uh, let's show my. Desktop here. I'll show it as soon as I get the uh, Libre going here. So let's reveal the drawing. And it is IPS. Oh, it's multiple materials. Okay. So let's do the base first, I guess. Plain carbon steel. IPS. So this is the. So this is the. I think this is the first multi-material one that I've seen him put up. So, so are you doing the table? What are you? Which yes. one are you doing? Uh, I'm doing yes, it's table. a plexiglass yes. table. I'm going to do the base first, I think. Plexiglass table. It's an interesting one. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how I want to do it actually. Um. 
I had I had some trouble on that one. Oh well, if you've had trouble, then it doesn't bode too well for me, <laughs> does it? Um. Oh my. Okay. Okay. So what so, do you want to do? Do you want do you want me to be giving you advice? Do you want what do you want to do? That's a good question. Um, I'll take advice. Sure. I'll go, let's go for that. You take advice. I'll take some advice. Um. So the way I did it was, I swept everything. Okay. Right. Okay. So you sweep the top ellipse. Right. Okay. And you need okay. you need to take a bit of care when you're designing the section, right? Okay. Because if you look, it's only it's got a slant uh line only on one side, the other side is straight and has a little step in it. So Okay. Yeah. It's got the, okay. But that goes all the way around. The tricky part is going to be, I think, getting like the legs. Well, no, I don't think well, that'll be too no, bad either. I don't either. think that'll be too bad either. No, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, the legs uh, are sweeps as well. I mean, those are really just like a square. I'll just do the top first. Screw it. Easy enough. Let's just. And I mean, when I'm. <laughs> I always do these models, and I always immediately forget all of my keyboard shortcuts, so I, I uh, <laughs> apologize to everybody. Um, let's do the top part first, I guess. First, I guess. Let's see if we can... Such a weird shape. Okay, so if I do... Like and this is wait. This is already a wait. Whoa! What I just do? I clicked on something. Oh, okay. Uh, this is all going to be way too big and out of proportions, but we'll fix it later. So yep. if there I you go. There you go. Do this. This is two, and then from here to uh, I want to make that vertical first, and then if so I you know what um. I don't I don't want to cut you off but yep. you know what I would do? I do Go the ahead. ellipse first. The ellipse? I do the ellipse first, right? The okay. path. Okay. And then I do okay. it, and then I I'd sketch on a on one of the uh, primary planes that's uh, perpendicular to that ellipse. Okay. So, right? I, so do... I do the ellipse in in the xy and then I I do the ellipse in the xy and then okay. I do the section in the yz. Okay. Because that way that way you can have a uh, okay. You can make a point, and then you can reference that point and make the section in the correct place. That's yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So if I, you know, I've almost never used ellipses, which is funny enough. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there we go. Not a very common shape, to be honest. Honestly, it's not. Oof. That's yep. a very tall ellipse there. There we go. And then yep. I need... And as you found out, a Libre can only dimension the two radii of the ellipse, not the two diameters. So mm -hmm. you got it. There you go. I guess you could right? You could technically get around it if in a pinch you could um, either add a point or you could add a, a reference line that runs tangent to the edge if you really needed to do uh a diameter yep. but i mean obviously you can just obviously cut the diameter by two so you yeah and you can just you and you can just input if you're working off of a drawing you can just input the diameter and divide by two exactly and you don't even have to do the math if it's some weird number you just put over two at the end because the is fantastic and does the math for you so yep yep there you go let's show the path right quick and then we'll do the xz plane ourselves to that hide the plane so here's our path right here and i guess it doesn't well it does well, matter what part of the path we we touch because we want the outer edge yeah. to be there so exactly. so so what you can do now 
if you open the project to sketch mm. through the toolbar, right? You can, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what we needed. There you go. Uh, maintain okay. association though. Maintain? Yeah, you, you should have maintained association. Oh, I'm, I it forgot might, about that, didn't I? It might move on you. And, that's you right. Know, that'll be then. Usually I do that. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, there we go. Um. Okay. So now we want a shape something like that. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, right? There we'll you go. Yep, yep, I can yep, even hide yep, that you sketch got it. now. Uh, vertical you that. Got it. Okay, cool. Already, already there. Uh, horizontal. No. Not horizontal. That guy. Uh, this guy wants to be vertical. And we can do that's two. And I. Uh, made him a bit too wide. Which is fine. This one wants to be. Is that a half inch that I saw? It is. Like five. Um, cool, cool. And then the actual. The depth of 0.5 as well. Yeah, you you want to look for the thickness of the tabletop because you've got the Toby note saying that the tabletop fits perfectly into the upper groove. So yeah. the thickness of the tabletop is... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. You got it. And then uh, I'm left with this upper kind of width. So the tabletop is 45. Yeah, like you were saying. Okay, so if this part's 45, the whole thing's 48. So that'll be math right there. I always it was okay just, at just, math. So. Just, get, just get a little bit to do it for you. That's true. So the, if the difference is 48 minus 43, it's be over. Actually, so I already got that. It's 1.5. But you could 48 minus 45 and then divide by over so two. parentheses. Yeah. Over two. And then yeah. you there could... You go. Yeah, I, I right at the last second I got it in my head, but you very well could have Libre do it have for everybody Libre watching, for everybody which is watching. amazing because you can just type the math and speed modeling if your brain isn't working and it'll just take care of it for yep. you. Yep, because... Been there, done that. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm going to cheat and just do a reference line there because I want this angle. There we go. Oh. And that is our shape, I believe. And then I want to sweep that whole guy. Uh, sweep. And... So you could you could have used what I call the hard bar. You know I have I never use no, it. I so never, um, yeah, it, so, show, uh, me it's, it's, show me what I'm missing. It's show me what I'm missing. You never use it. Well, it's it's really useful because if you're in a sketch, right? If you delete that sweep, we can do okay. it over. Okay. And and then and then you know d completely destroy your time. Right, <laughs> swallow. Right. That's fine. So, I'm not worried okay, about Okay, let's say you're in there. You just hit the space bar. Hit the space bar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep, and I then got part, the part features and then sweep boss. Okay. And then you, so, okay. you see what, how that works. Okay. And you're, yeah, that's and you're a lot quicker than just than having to close out the sketch. There okay. you go. You got okay. it. Right? Okay. I, I really like that. that. I like that. Okay, so we have Hello, the top L, ring also here. Got a, yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? I'm so sorry. So uh, Harold L, uh, who has also got a YouTube channel, uh, showed me how to do that. Okay, you know, of more, course, more efficiently but, okay. at least. That's the same Harold. Okay, yeah, I've seen a lot of his a lot of his YouTube stuff. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the actual grandmaster, right? I see. I think okay. I think he he lives in Japan, in some mountain, you know, in an ancient <laughs> temple okay. doing a libre. That's uh -huh. what I think. And he's he's gonna have you paint his fence and wax his car and. <laughs> something like that something like that okay so now we got to get these legs right um so the legs i need touch ellipses at point of tangency so but do the legs themselves match the curve it doesn't really say. yeah so they start yeah so so what i did there right uh you design the outer shape of the leg, right, from the floor down to the side, and you just need to do the two legs. 
Okay. And then you do a circular pattern for 180 degrees and you're done. Okay. So I show my planes here. If I do Okay, so I should just do just do uh, a mid plane extrude uh, then. Mid plane extrude then. For the shape well. Or... Um, yeah, or you can definitely space. do a mid plane extrude. Yes, you can definitely do that. Um, what I did was I, I, I swept it, but you okay. can definitely do a mid plane extrude. Actually, mid plane extrude is not a, a bad idea, it's actually a good idea. So that might not, that might be more efficient. I don't know. I guess let's try it because I, I yep. want a close, I want a close up of where the legs meet the rounded portion. I want to know if there's if in his version, if they follow the curve of the tabletop here, or if they're flat. I want, I want to see closer, but I that's something closer, I don't have the luxury of in this scenario, so that's fine. Yeah, well... So what I did is, it says that the legs touch the ellipses at the point of tangency. So, okay. if, if you look closely, you know, the legs might stick out a bit. Okay. Right. Okay. In any case, you've got such a wide tolerance that it'll be That's, okay. Yeah, that is quite a big tolerance. Okay. So we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Let's just uh, let's just get to modeling. How about I just modeling. shut up and model? How about I just shut up and model? How about how about I just stop talking and just and just go for it? Uh, so there you go, are... man. You're doing. So... You're... Is also 1.75. There you go. And then go, Adam. Hey, thanks. Look at that. I mean, I've <laughs> no, I'm not in competitions like you are, but like you are, but I'm learning. That's for sure. Look, man, it's all about the practice, right? That's true. Let, Let me tell you. Uh, I okay. We do have a height. We have a height of the whole thing. Which is seventeen point eight, which is quite a weird there you height. Vertical that. There, there you go. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, mid plane, and they are. I'm guessing another one point seven five. It looks like. Okay. And yep. then I need to do the other one, on the other plane. Uh, there. Okay. There you go. You got it. You got it, man. This one, honestly, man, you should start. Hard. Yeah, you should actually. You know, I don't know if you have the time, but you should start practicing and enjoying one of the competitions. You know, I was thinking maybe the the next um the next one he does, I might uh, see if I can at least uh, put in for it and see what I can do. It doesn't hurt to try. Yep. If nothing else, I and get more practice. Not. Well, although although you should you should know um, that um, uh, the the qualifier is quite different to the actual competition. It's actually a different discipline. Yeah, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, because right? you kind of have to look through the model and just try to figure out. Um, you need to actually figure out for yourself what the fastest method is because you're competing against everybody else looking at the same models, right? So you're kind of... Right, but you, try but to you also have it, infinite right? time, right? That's so true. it's about... Uh, the the qualifier is about min-maxing, right? Uh-huh. You've got all the time you want to find the perfect strategy, and the competition is the opposite, right? You've got very little time to find a strategy and just run with it. That makes... Yeah, that's... Very different for the qualifier. My computer is absolutely not just lagging out right now. I don't okay, know so you know on. what you can do there. You know what you can do there. You can you can project the section of the other leg and just make it collinear, and you don't even need to dimension it. Okay, so project the other leg over. You said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the square on the bottom of the other leg. 
Of course, of course. Okay. Yep. And then I can I can even just there we go. Or um Yeah, make yeah. coincident. Yeah, there there you go. The other one. You yeah, need I can to, do just make them no no no, just make them coincident. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's much that's much better. There we go. Done. Right? That looks that looks correct there to me. There you go. So, yep. So plane. There we go. I mean they're kinda that'll all work itself out though when we revolve. Out though when we revolve. Yep. Okay, Just and then you circular said pattern do a circular pattern for both of these. Yeah. Uh, right there, feature that and that. And we want just one more instance. Uh, center is the, or no. I guess I'll grab it from there. <laughs> not, not. Come on. I think you can do the ellipse as well. Let's try it. Uh, it would be, it would end up being sketch one. No, no, just pick the Z axis, right? Click the, the Z axis. Okay. Oh yeah. Duh. Okay. And then there we go. And then you have one instance. You need two. Yeah. I always do that. I always do that. Man. I always think that I need one more instance rather than. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay. I know. I always do that too. So we got the first part. Okay. okay. And I was really dumb, and I actually opened a part rather than an assembly. Than but an that's assembly. okay, because we'll but just. That's okay. I think you can, uh, why, can you do send to and make an assembly? New assembly. If you go to file, if you go to file, right? I think and there's then, a, yeah, a new assembly from part or something like that. Um, export. No. Save no. As, no. Um, send no, no, to. No, make no, no, it's mm. not. It's not. It's not. Okay, so it doesn't have it. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean... That's not a big deal because I can just go back here and just do. What's the date on this one? Twenty four oh seven ten. Uh, we'll just call that one A, and then we'll just open it back up here in a second and add it to an assembly. That's fine. No big deal. Ugh, excuse me. I like working them separately anyway. Okay. So, XY plane. XY plane. Easy enough. Let's get the ellipse enough. tool out. Let's get the ellipse tool out. This so, now, so now you just project that inner ridge. When you start a new part, you just project the inner ridge of that face. And you extrude up to the top. So so for the tabletop, okay, you're not even yeah. sketching. Okay, so hang on. Let me actually op properly open up an assembly. I, I um, have very little experience in assembly, so I need to work more in assemblies so anyway, so that's good. Assemblies anyway, so that's good. Yeah, well, uh, it's relatively simple. The, the assemblies are relatively simple and very easy to work with, I find, in a Libre. That's uh, good. And, um, you know, and generally speaking, uh, top-down design in Alibre has some limitations. Uh-huh. But I don't find it to be, you know, very much limited, you know, compared to Creo or SolidWorks, for example. Well, every software is going to have best... some kind of limitations, so. Yeah. The best the software for top-down design, I hate to admit, is Fusion, right? Okay. It's the only one that actually gets a parametric timeline in the assembly as well. That, so okay. it's even better than Inventor okay. in that regard. But, you know, I'm not a fan of Fusion in everything else. So <laughs> Okay. So I have a new part here. How do I actually go about messing with it and, and uh, working so it? When you start, so when you start a new part from within the assembly, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it... As soon as you give it a name, it's you are editing that part. It's already started to edit that part. By the way, I, I can't see your screen now in the oh, I'm Twitch sorry. stream. There we, so. go. there we go. There you go. So you see you see where you see where that 
that part, the new part you made is, is dark blue. That that yep. means you're editing it, right? Okay. Right. And you see that the rest of the parts are like uh, translucent. That's yes. mean that means you're editing it. So, but 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 what's the deal here? You can use any of the surfaces that you already have. So you can use the bottom surface of that ridge to sketch on. Of course. Okay. Right. Okay, and I just there you go. need so you sketch there. So you that. just project that that ridge now, and then there you extrude go. You got it. it. Uh, to and extrude it up that. to the top uh, ridge. Yeah, there we go. There you go. That's, that's it. it. And then I need to tell now it you this need to is give it a material. Material. So, so the thing with assemblies is you need to give it a material because it doesn't have one now, right? It, it yes. So how do template. I do that? See where it says material right underneath the name? Oh, okay, yes. You right click there. Okay. And then the top part was ABS. Yes, okay. Apply. And then oh, let's that was go ABS, here. Yeah. And then uh does it does the first bit uh keep the material that I first assigned it or no? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. And now you can either click on the part that you just designed. Right click on it. No, no, you're uh, just you're just in that part now. Okay, so right click okay, on this so and then right click on the name. Okay. Edit root assembly. And now you can find the uh... Okay. Yep, there you go. Assembly, there we go. So I'm getting 106.5. Hopefully that's with intolerance. No, doesn't like it. Doesn't like it? Does hmm. not like it. Okay. Oh, uh, well, hang on. No, it doesn't. Okay. So now we figure out what I did. Yeah. I don't even remember what <laughs> my answer was <laughs> so long ago. Um... And you know what? Uh, it, it doesn't tell you. Yeah. It says I completed it, but it doesn't tell you the answer. <laughs> so I don't even know the answer. I need to read. Draw it. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's use our handy do uh, handy dandy measuring tool here and see. Uh, see what I can find. So, are these like? That's the one point seven five. It should be. Why does this say it's? Four? Oh, it's in millimeters. The uh, assembly. Oh, opened there in, you uh, go, man. Uh, well, the assembly That's opened why. in MMGS. No, 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 it's still in IPS. The assembly itself opened in MMGS. How do I actually swap that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can change that by you see that little gear on the top. Sorry, uh, on the top of the design tree, second icon from the left is the part properties. Part data. Yeah. That's one you can change your units through there. Uh, units. General. See units. I must do inches, and then mass. It's mass in kilograms. That might be why I didn't. And like the mass, it. yeah. So that might actually have been my problem. Uh, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah, so it was right. I was just using no, the wrong units because the assembly wasn't set right. Okay. Cool. Nice. Not not the best time ever, but it was a learning experience. A learning experience. Yeah, yeah. Well, me me yapping definitely didn't didn't. <laughs> nah, you're good. Every bit of information you give is is. Good but but I'll tell you what. So. I'll tell you what. Me on my own. I did it in eleven minutes. First time That's out. Darn good. That's really good. So so it's a hard model. Right. Yeah. It's one of the few models that I am above average by quite a bit. I found myself once I get in the groove of it, I'm usually above average. Yeah. Kind of need a couple yes. models to kind of remember what you're doing. Yes. Yes. Very true. Very true. All right. Let's go back to practice models here. Let's do the next one. Uh, let's see. The next one for me. Um. Well, this should be an easy one, of course. <laughs> I say it out loud, you never know. Sometimes you look at it and it says tier two and you say, oh, it'll take me two minutes. 
No, 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 no. Don't, don't. <laughs> nope. Doesn't work like that in Toby's models. It does not. Okay. Uh, open a new tab. What do we got? Uh oh yeah, this one is actually genuinely gonna be easy. MMGS steel. This will be really easy. This yeah, so which one are you easy. doing then? Uh I'm sorry, I'm on uh twenty four oh nine oh one hex plug. This one will take like plug. ten seconds. Take, like, 10 oh yeah, cool. I haven't done that. <laughs> this one will take like not no time at all. Like if I hadn't again, if I'm not if I wasn't blabbering, it would be done by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there you go. Yep, yep. You're off to the correct start. Yes. There we go. Interesting. Did it automatically? There we go. And then extrude that by twenty five, and then let's do. I'm not even gonna reposition myself here. That's ninety. Uh, extrude, uh, and then fifty, uh, fifty minus ten, and that should be the part forty four seventy. Doesn't see it seems like a lot of grams. But it's right. Cool. Minute 31. Yeah, cool. Nice and easy. Nice cool. and easy. Cool. I haven't done that one. Uh, I see that I've done a couple. Okay. That I, I've seen that I see that I've done a couple that are for premium members only. So they were, you know, switched to being premiums after I did them. Yes. I've done quite a few of them like that. Yeah. Oh shoot! What did I say this one was called? Twenty four oh nine or twenty four oh nine oh one? Okay, twenty four oh nine oh one. Save that. So I can come back to it if I need to. Okay, let's go back to practice models here. So, so you know how that was a tier two. Yes. But Toby said that. The tiers are roughly the number of features that you need to make it. So we did it in three features now. But if you had done that circular tower with a revolve, that would have been two features. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. just just you know, as a you know, different point of view on, on the yeah. model, and that's that's true of, of, for for most of Toby's models. They can be done in multiple ways. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons that I like CAD in general is because you can go yes. and do the same model in a ton of different ways. And some of his models, you can tell, are designed, models, tell, are designed such that they are supposed to get you thinking about different ways to do things. Um, which is really cool because which every once in a while you get stuck in a rut of always using the same, the same, the same feature. And uh, sometimes exactly. he manages to yes. find a. Yes, yes, that's uh, true. That's he manages true. to design a model that makes you use a revolve instead of cutting a hole or it makes you do it one way, which is just cool to see because getting more practice is always getting better. So. Is always better. Yep, yep. Okay. Definitely. So, Definitely. Unfortunately, because of the new paywall, I only have this last one that I can do from Toby. It is. 24-10-01 foot pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what I can do here. New tab. Lump. So it uh, says that the skills alloy. tested is a loft. Well, I... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing it's got two different draft angles. So yeah, it would be a loft. I haven't done that one either. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks like a loft to me. Yep. Okay, so let's... Just nice and simple here. Um, don't have any need for. I uh, want. Okay, I want one sixty, and I want fifteen. Uh, extrude mid plane by one point five. There we go. Uh, and 
And again, this one, 101 by 136. I'm completely backwards with that. Of course I am. Of course I am. Oh, well. So maybe maybe we could you know just show us your screen. So oh my gosh, yeah. I'm a I'm a first day first day. I definitely hey, haven't been doing day. this for definitely years. This for... Jeez, do not worry about it. There we go. Do not oh, worry. About it. Okay, there we go. I got the dimensions backwards at first, but we're good now. We're good now. Yep. Okay. So now you need to do a second sketch I and then loft, do. I guess. How far up do we need to be uh it wants to be 55 okay uh and this smaller one is a square okay and then loft the two Okay, easy enough. And then there you go. Then it's just the hole. Sixty. That looks. No, that's right. Okay. And then thirty-five. There we go. Yep. There you go. Uh, eighteen oh nine point nine. So it might want. No, that should be fine. Okay, cool. What was my time? Two fifty three. Not too bad. Cool. Sweet. I'll take. No, that. that's actually that's actually really good, man. It's above average. It's about half between average and fast. So. Yeah, but but look, that's that's the thing with it, right? So. In a competition, a model like this, two, two and a half minutes is a great time that's for true. an actual competition. That's, that's true. For a qualifier, that would be a minute model. Yeah. Well, and under a minute, actually. Under mm. a minute, right? So so that's that's the difference there. And maybe, you know, that's the beauty of uh, Toby's competitions. You it need is. to be good all round, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, with uh, the qualifier... You would run it normally, and then you'd try to figure out how to, how to make it faster, and then go faster, and try. You'd have to cut out your mouse clicks, as as you've shown. You figure out how you can cut out some mouse clicks, cut out some keyboard clicks, cut out some keyboard clicks, and uh, exactly how to do it all faster and faster. So exactly. So, uh, very interesting model here. Yep. Sorry, my daughter was just here. <laughs> no problem, man. All right, so let me just check on the chat right quick. Yeah, so sorry, I've had, I've had to cover up the chat, everybody, with the uh, the models, but uh, yeah, uh, Reband Master, you called me on that. Yep, wrong scene. Thank you. Yep, we caught it. Um, everybody, remember we are uh, doing this for the kids. So, uh, donations are welcome, but uh, never required, of course. Uh, if you can't. Uh, if you can't donate, that is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Um, we're gonna tab back over here right tab quick here right and quick. grab. Gotta catch up on everything. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. All right. So, so are we still good here? I'm we are. Good. Okay. Okay. Question from here. Is we're out of practice is, models. Out of practice models. Okay. So what do you want to do? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> uh I don't know. I have this so, old one that I haven't touched. Okay, it's a tier six, so it might be perfect. Six. So it might be perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Which one? It is the swoopy lofty, he called it. Oh man, I haven't done that. I, okay. I haven't been able to get it correct. Oh. Um, it might be it might be a good idea for the um, for the stream because it might take us the entire two hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean that's what we are going for. So, okay, open the, yeah. the new tab here. 
It's MMCS ABS, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there we go. That definitely looks it like... It seems easy enough, board. right? It seems easy enough, this part. Uh, but the problem is, I think, uh, Toby designs in SolidWorks. Okay. Right? So when you do this in a Libre, the loft algorithm is slightly different in a Libre. So I ended up doing it with four guidelines to get it to behave the same way it does in SolidWorks. And I still can get the mass within two grams. So. But I, I can tell you how I got up to that point, right? So I did the the oval as an extrude. I did the mm -hmm. uh, revolves, you know, you do the oval as an extrude on the XY plane. Yeah. Solid, right? Forget the, the, the empty bit in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You do the oval, you do the revolves, the cylinders, mm -hmm. and then you do the loft in between, right? Uh -huh. um, then you shell with multiple thicknesses, which you can do in a Libre, mm -hmm. and you give it that different uh, thickness on the top. Um, and, uh, and then you do that little uh, cylindrical boss on the bottom, right? That's the idea. But I tried it multiple times and the loft would not behave. Hmm. Maybe, um, Maybe I, I and I think I haven't one. tried it. Yeah, I think I haven't tried it with V28, so. Well, let me see what I can do here. Uh, we want, what is that, zero outside slot? Yep, okay, and that is 200, okay. And the thickness of that slot extrusion is um uh, yeah, that's another thing. Ooh. Yeah, I have to do that later. Yeah, okay. I can't start with that. I mean I could if I really wanted to do some math, but I don't feel like doing that much math. So we're going to start instead on the yeah. cylinders at the bottom. Cylinders at the bottom. Yep. So what you can do is you start with the cylinders at the bottom as they evolve, mm -hmm. right? And then you do those 30 degree guidelines and that oval on the top, you design it as a square. And then you fill at the edges of that, you know, rectangle, okay. actually. And then you get the full oval, the full slot. So that's what I did. Interesting. Okay. And that way, those two bodies will be correct. But then the loft mm -hmm. doesn't want to play along. Huh. Again, haven't tried it with V28. I know that there are some you know, bug fixes and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why does that not look like the right... Well, no, that looks like the right shape. Okay. Okay. So if I... Okay, I'm learning. Herald bar. Here we go. Hey, look at that. There you go. Space All bar. Right. There you go. Okay. So... So now you can just design in the same plane. You project the top edge of that revolve. Mm -hmm. And you design those uh, lines that says 30 degree angle. You design that angle as reference. You see where I'm going with it? And then you just do a yeah. rectangle on the top. Okay. You yeah. mid-plane extrude the rectangle and then fillet it into an oval. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So if I do 
I guess I could still technically do the math, but we'll do 30. And, and, and also quick tip, uh, you know, for, for uh, every, everybody that's watching, you don't need that second reference line for the angle. Yes. If you click correct. the first and you, you know, you pull it over, it'll work. It's just. Oh, really? So you can hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I do that, oh, I can just pull it over that way. Yeah. It's my first yeah. day. It's my first day. <laughs> All right, cool. I lear I'm learning so much. All right, cool. Yeah, that's, the, that's the point, man. That's the point. All right, let's um, let's do a rectangle here. Okay, and then uh, coincident that and the about horizontal. There we go. Yeah, and, horizontal. Uh, yeah. Vertical that guy with that guy, and then we're two hundred wide. There you and go. then we have a height of the whole thing. There you go. Which is 182. There you go. There we go. And then I can mid-plane extrude that by yes. 70. And then yep. fill it. Uh, eh, For 35 eh. each corner. Uh -huh. There you go. There we go. You you have my select through uh, trick. Yes, sir. I was very happy with myself when I found that one out. <laughs> yes, sir. that is absolutely genius. Okay. <laughs> so from here, let's see. Let's just let's let's see what we can do here. I mean, uh, if I'm theoretically you can lock you can just you don't need you don't even need to make the sketches a libre can loft from surface to surface oh well, let's do that and yeah it wants like huge tangent if i get rid of them yeah so now you make it a, a yeah okay. you see that it makes that angle i mean if you try and make it a ruled one it might work Maybe. Do I want to... Ruled loft means that it's going to be as straight as possible. It won't let me do it. I get an error. Yeah, and then it doesn't do it. Okay. So now you need to make... So now you need to make guidelines. And in order to make it, you know, the same as what you're looking there, you need to make four guidelines. So. Yeah, that is... Okay. Okay. We've got our work <laughs> for us here. Yeah, because that's oh, still got quite sure, a man. curve on it. I mean we could we could give it a shot like that. Yeah, let's let's roll with this for now. Let's get all the rest of the stuff that we need going here. And then um okay, so we'll if you wanna do the shell, shell with multiple thicknesses, right? Yes. You select shell. the face that you want to remove, which in this case is the bottom one, and then yep. you start the shell. This guy. And you we give have it a, thickness. a standard thickness of, what did I say, three? Three, yes. Three mil, yep. Yep. And it's going to, there we go. Okay, and then, and then override. You, you go there that it says overrides. Yep. So that's where the, yeah. And you select the top face. And it it'll tell you that it has a thickness, right? And then you click on the thickness. There you go. Okay. And you do it whatever it needs to be, which is, I think, six. I think six. And my computer is definitely struggling because I'm streaming and everything else. Whoa. Yeah, the on. streaming is what's killing it. So if you do now. Through it, what's going it, on here? I didn't. It didn't uh, like that. What I do? Did not like. Something. Did we do six or sixty mil? <laughs> it says sixty. Or well, it says six. Uh, yeah. Well, you see, it doesn't like it. Um. Another way you could do it is you could just uh, 
do a shell for three millimeter all round. You delete that one, and then you move the top face for three. Downwards. Okay. You can... can I? It won't even let me remove this 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 override now. What if I just change the override back to three? So like that. No, it's still broken. No, it's well, still something broken. I did broke it. Something I did broke it. Let's just start over with the shell. How about that? Yep, yep, yep. Serum thickness of three. No, it's still broken. The loft is killing, the loft it. killing it. The loft's probably killing it. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's so weird. Huh. Yeah, the loft is tearing up. There's even like a, a straight edge here you can see. That's really yeah, yeah, weird. Yeah, I know. Huh. Yeah, so so that, that it doesn't like the loft, man. I'm telling you. I've done quite a few models from, from Toby that do have lofts. Um, mm. And they've all worked. And this particular one, I just gave up on. <laughs> Hmm. What you know what you could do? You know what you could do if if you go into inspect, uh, you can do a quick uh, section view and you can look at what's going on. You know, more. Oh, wrong section. Not not a precision one. You don't need. Yeah, that that ones. Those ones. Yeah. It's... So you see, it's not even shelling the loft. Yeah, it's not showing the loft at all. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay. So... So I'll tell you what we can do, right? Okay. Let's. So, so this is this is something I tell people. Uh, we're going to use the "What would Joseph do?" principle of design, right? <laughs> okay. Well, so, now, hang on. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that override because I know that it is working. It's just we can't see it because the loft's in the way. So I am gonna do that override properly. I mean, the override is going to work, but you know what I'm thinking? Okay. I'm thinking, forget about the shell. Okay. Right. Okay. Delete face on that bottom face and turn everything into a surface, and then thicken that surface. That might work. Okay, we're getting into territory that I am not familiar with. So let's go for it. Let's do it. I like. Let's it. go for it. That's yeah. Okay. Let's uh, you know, delete face. You said right. Start with delete face. No. Delete face on that bottom face. Okay. And now your entire model is no longer a solid. It is just a surface. Mm -hmm. And you see now, now it did the loft. It did. You know, correctly. And now you can use thicken, okay. which is on that same toolbar, thicken it for three mil. Uh, I need to reverse yeah. the direction because I need to go inward. You need, yes. Okay. Let's let's see. Well, it, it liked it. Ooh, it's very. Nope, nope. We have. We still have the it's loft. Doing the same. It's doing the same thing. Yeah. I... Uh, okay. Um. Very very interesting. Okay. Okay. I that is interesting, I, isn't it? I we're gonna back up through all of this if it'll let me. My computers. Yeah, Take if you time. delete the delete face, oh, okay. There we go. If you delete the delete face, it's back to a solid, right? Let's um. I have I have another thought here. Let's let's um. Let's let's. Let's get rid of the loft. And then if I shell just this guy and we'll do that surface as well. 
that's three millimeters that's good and let's also do another shell there okay i hang on what i see where you're like that? i see what you're doing why does it not like shelling it that? doesn't like it why not Oh man, I think you found the issue. The issue. No lumps left in ah, the body. Okay. So you know why it's not doing it? Uh, because you cannot shell a multi body part in a Libre. It's trying to shell the entire thing. Oh. Of course. Okay. But now what you can do is you can use the delete face method on that top body and it'll work. Okay. So if I go back to surface and i do delete face yeah okay and we have oddly oh, enough it that's some weird that's not what i would have expected. that's some weird stuff right there i was already <laughs> shelled you see it was already shelled of course because it's okay <laughs> okay okay so maybe go back into the original shell delete that delete face go back into the, the original shell and delete that face in the same shell command okay so go to the oh, there's that one so go to that and then if i edit and then if i go faces to remove there there we go that's what i wanted anyway that's what i wanted there you and go. then I want to do override face that one, and I want it to be six. There we go. And so that'll work now. Okay, because it's not struggling really hard with the um, loft. loft, my computer's not freaking out either, which is really nice. Turns out that, out that my computer just really hates that loft, apparently. Now, I'm technically so, with Libra, I do not have Libre, to, but I'm to, but going, I'm going to, to um, I'm going to grab all of these all of so that I can see them through what I'm about to do. What I'm about to do. <laughs> and then do another one there. No. Uh... me that okay i screwed that up okay uh, okay. okay i see so and then, so, sorry, so what you're ahead. trying to do is a, a solid loft and then a loft cut is that what you're going for yes yes okay that might work actually it doesn't hurt to try it at this rate. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, so let's do the solid loft. And let's... Well, hang on. I need one more. I actually technically need two more sketches. So I need to... Because now I don't have the full surface. And I know that it's not going to want to do it with... Okay, so quick tip. Select an edge. Right-click on it. And then select chain. Select an edge, right click, and select chain. Uh, am I crazy? Doesn't do it? It's not giving it to you? Why, why isn't it giving you that That's option? Good question. You're on V28. Hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not there. That's really weird. Okay, it should it should have been available, but I don't know why it's not. Huh. Maybe if someone who works at uh, Alibre uh, watches this back at some point, Joseph, you can yeah. help us out. And let us know what's going on. Yep. Just, just out of curiosity, because I'm sure it's just some detail that we're missing here. But just, just so that we know what's uh, what's going on. Uh, okay, here. so I'm I'm playing with uh, with a Libre on my side. Okay. Um, 
it doesn't work for unprojected edges. It only works for projected edges. Okay, so. okay. That that makes sense. Okay. So and I totally just undid what I just did because I deleted the wrong sketch. Okay. So film with that one. Activate no. a sketch on there. Project that guy. Okay, so now we have to be very careful, very careful. to get the right sketches. The right. They should be in the right order, and they are. Okay, so if we do a loft between a that loft one between and that, that one. one. There's no tangency or nothing. Out of curiosity, will it let me do rules? Well, it didn't give me an error when I selected ruled this time. Hmm. I don't know why, but I'm going to keep it because yeah, that looks that's very, very, very straight. Actually. That looks quite yeah. straight to me, so I'm going to leave it there. And then we're going to do a loft cut with yes. these two. I think you're onto something here. We'll also tell it ruled. It didn't give me uh, an error. So, okay. I can't... Oh, yeah, I can see through. Yeah, it worked. Cool. Well, we're going to assume for now that we're on a, on the right track, and let's, um, let's continue um, now that we continue. are... In a good spot. So we need uh, these are all ten thickness, and we need interesting. Okay, so so you do the holes first. That's what I I would do at okay. least. So twenty five in the middle and thirty five either side. Okay. And I can't, uh, minus six is fine, because that's how thick. Uh, actually, no, I need minus ten, because it's adding more, because we're going to add more around it. Okay. No, you can do, first of all, you can do up to next, and you'll know what you're on about. To next? Okay. Uh, maybe reverse. There we go. Okay. Uh, I should have just done them all in one sketch, because I am a bonehead, and I didn't. Okay. Uh, what was it? 35 for the others? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they're concentric with that outer edge, too. Okay. Uh, okay. And then... Okay. And then... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did it not like? Maybe it doesn't Disjoint like it. Disjoint loops not supported okay. for two next... Interesting. Well, <laughs> fine. Okay, just okay. Minus 10. Okay, so just, you know, either, yeah, you can just do that then. Okay. So... Okay, but these are six millimeters thick now. You need to do the rings. Yes. So the way I do, I did the rings was I projected the edges of those holes and did a thin extrude okay. or, uh, and okay. with a thickness of 10 millimeters. Okay, easy enough. Okay, so then Harold Bar part features yeah. doesn't give me thin extrude. Harold Bar doesn't give you the thin ah, extrude ones. Okay, yeah. well, that's fine. Yeah. It can't do everything. It, it can do everything. It, it does most of it, not everything. That's fair. That's fair. And then 10. Oh, hang on. Uh, the other side way. Two. So that's okay. a zero. Side one is a zero. Side two is a ten. There we go. I think we're correct. There we go. Okay. And then I just need this hole here. I do believe. I think that's the last feature. So let's let's go for it and see what we can do here. Um, let's do it the same way, even. Well, similarly, 40. And then what am I missing? Oh, it's not. Uh... There we go. Okay. 
I went about this way wrong. Go go all the way out, and then we can delete face the uh, additional geometry. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, what was it? Um, 53. Okay. Yeah, 53, cool. yep. And then should we delete face the geometry now or wait until after the hole? Um, I'd say it's easier to do now. Okay. Because so, now you have a face to sketch the hole on. So Okay. So if I... No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do the hole first? My bad. Go back into the model tab and do remove face. So you see where it says move face, if you if you drop down that menu, um, so it's on on the right-hand side of the patterns. You see where it says move okay, face? Okay, yes. That's yep. the direct editing yep. menu. Okay. And do the drop-down so down click on the face. arrow. Yeah. Okay. And then select faces to remove, and we want to do yeah. the round bit here. Those three faces. Yeah, uh, two faces, yeah. And then, oh, no, the yeah. one did it. That one and cool. the plug. Oh, it, yeah. Cool. It figured it out, right? It sure did. All right. Alibre, you did it. Okay. I mean, uh, direct editing in Alibre is really good. Okay. Yeah, These that's... remove face and yeah. move face and all that. That's really, it works really well, actually. Okay, and now uh, that'll do. Let's see if we get an answer with intolerance, because I think that's the model done. 251.6 is what I got. Not correct. There you Interesting. go. 252 is not correct. I'm either. telling you, man, it's the loft. It's got to be. Unless I'm missing something else big, I am in, I am in grams. So let's just double check that we didn't make a basic mistake here, just to be sure. Just to be sure. That is thirty-five as expected. Okay, that's twenty-five as expected. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's got to be the loft. Huh. Very interesting. Um... Huh. Well, you've got the correct material, so you know. I don't know. I don't see what else it could be actually. Yeah, it's gotta be. Hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be. So we got the features. Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's definitely making a weird shape for this loft. Yeah. The problem with it is I played with I played with the numbers, right? Okay. And I I, I just uh, after I was done, I, I I started just inputting numbers. Right? Oh, there you go. What? That, that I oh my, what the hell just happened there? Okay, that ah the 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 lofted cut, you need to do the same. Yes. Uh, twist minimization. Did that do it for us? 232.8? Two, two, uh, 
No? Free free? No? Hmm. Very interesting. It's got a it's a much nicer loft. Much oh nicer well. Loft. Oh well. Kind of. Oh my. Maybe oh, not. My. Twist yeah. optimization added a bunch it? of twist, turns out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I also yeah, did. but because it's because you selected none, so that's why he added twist. Uh, hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, we... yeah, that's very. It's definitely the lock for sure. That's it's just interesting, sure. that, it's just uh... interesting that. Uh... Huh. Another thing is, uh, yeah, you need to regenerate all before you check the the weight. Um, that one I was forgetting to do for a second. I did, uh, I did catch that. So at least I, yeah, so I remembered that. Um, we simplify it, will it? Doesn't seem to change it much. Well, I don't think the simplification is going to do anything because. It doesn't have any coincidence. So simplify is if it's got any tangent edges okay. or faces that are tangent, it just uh, stitches see. them into a single face. Okay. Got it. So I guess the only other thing we could try is to put some guides on either side. You need four of them. Angles or, yeah, each angle here. And the guides need to be on four different sketches, mind you. Hmm. Well. Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We're we've we've got another forty five minutes for CAD and we don't know what else to do, so let's let's see here. That's one way to think about it. I'm determined not to get it. Screw it. Yeah, let's go. Uh so you know what? Maybe it'll be easier if you go back before the loft and do the guide sketches. Oh yeah, that um that's probably a good idea. There we go. And then... So I need one on each side, and then, so, again, I need one on each side this way. Yeah, but you need, you need to make them in four different sketches, right? Yeah. Okay. At least they're not complicated, because I can just do like that, basically, for each one. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's what you need. That's it. Okay. So at least they're easy. At they are easy, easy, yeah. It's, it's just it's just that it's a bit tedious, you know, but yeah. it's not hard. Okay, so that one's good. And then I just need... Same thing here. Uh, uh, references. Okay. And then one last one. Okay. All right, four sketches. Sketches. So now, now you use these. Uh, now you'll use these sketches as local guide curves. Okay. So how do I go about doing this? Because it's... So where it says guide... So first of all, uncheck the ruled loft. Ruled lofts do okay. not accept guides. Okay. And then let's... You said local. Yeah. And then just select all four of them? 
Yeah, 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 that's the idea. No. Uh... Oh man. What does it want? Okay, select a tangent guide. Consistency guides, processing edge coincidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you said a Okay, select them as tangent uh, guides. And if that doesn't work, just well, do, worked, you know, two other ones. Yeah. It worked, but it's ah. not right. It It didn't work. It didn't oh, work. Hang on, it only so just go, ju just go for the uh, select as local guides, but but just go for the two larger ones, right? The side ones. Okay. Uh, Again, as local two, ones. I guess. Yeah. Thirteen and fourteen. Hang on, why is it not? There we go. And then fourteen. There we go. Ooh. We're definitely getting some weird shapes now. Oh. Hey, Slaughtered. Welcome to the party. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the party, man. Thank you so much for being here. Interesting that it doesn't like... Huh. Yeah, as soon as I select one on the other... Rotated the other way around, one of the smaller ones. It doesn't like it. So it'll take these two. As soon as I select... Oh? And now suddenly it claims it's working? It's a very weird shape, but now... Now it claims that it's working, though, which is... Huh. Sorry, yeah, I don't know why you weren't, uh... I don't know why you weren't already following. Oh. Ex Machina, if you're watching, I don't know what happened, but, um... I lost you here. I don't know what happened. I lost you. Power outage. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well... Shows that I'm still on the call. Yeah, it shows you're still in, in the call on my end. So, hopefully, uh, you should be able to just join back in when the power's back up. Hopefully. We're getting inconsistencies in the loft here. This one might be a bust, guys. This one might be a bust. Because... This loft, although it did accept the sketches, it is not. It is not liking this. So. Hmm. Very interesting. Trying to connect, but it doesn't like it. No problem, man. No big deal. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. There we go. No problem, man. Yep, no got you, deal. got you, got you. I can see you now. Hey. Hey, all right. Sweet. It's all but, working. All right. Yeah. So as for, as for this model, I couldn't do it either, man. I couldn't do it. You know what? I I I, I let let me be. Uh, precise about it. I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because you could probably, there's probably some way you could 
go through very meticulously and and try to get yeah, a and more I'm, precise I'm, loft. I'm yeah. Like, and I'm I'm very much afraid that we need to do four more guide curves for the lofted cut. Yeah, and that's no, what I did. It was wanting, and it. I'm like, yeah. nope. <laughs> yeah, it was wanting it, and I'm. Yep. So I guess we might again. We might have to call to the expert here, Joseph. Get on it, man. We need a solve video. Yeah. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Loft and you know, thing. you know, you know, Joseph is going to put out a video. And he'll design this in five minutes. Oh, yeah. And make us all look like fools. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen there. <laughs> yeah. And that's okay. Because it will be extremely fun to watch. That is okay, and we'll yeah. all learn something. So I'm down for Definitely. it. Definitely. So. Uh, Definitely. Brandon, welcome to the party. Captain Leghole, are you winning? Uh, no. No, we're very much losing. <laughs> We're very much losing. Um, we're at 41 minutes on the elapsed time. And um, yep. it does not like this. So for those, but, for those but, who just but, You know in, what? You know what? Uh, being Greek, I can, I can say this. The Spartans also lost at Thermopylae, but they got made into a movie. So <laughs> who's you know, the real we're winner? losing... Yeah, yeah. So who's the real reader? There you go. <laughs> this is the final boss, and it's beating them up. No, it's a loft. It's not a. It's, well, I guess technically it's a boss, but it's it is a cut too. Either way, it's it is it is. Um, it is. It's a lofted boss. Yes, <laughs> right. It's a lofted Correct. boss. It uh, might want to regroup. Which is, and XP. by the way, it's what it's called in in SolidWorks. It's called a lofted boss. So it is a boss. I see. Okay. Yeah. So. It's just such an interesting... So... I would almost... It would be really interesting to have a, a sweep with two guides. You can't. Exactly. But that would almost be yeah. like the only other way like I could think of to think to of solve the, this, to make a guide out of this top a guide out of this slot. slot, and a guide yeah, down a, here. A sweep, a sweep. Yeah, I would also like more more options in the sweep command in mm -hmm. Alibre. I would like to be able to add additional guides, and either scale the the sweep section or mm -hmm. you know something like that. And I would also like to uh, use planes. As alignment guides, okay, in the sweep, uh, which can be done in some other parametric CAD, and they've not been implemented in Libre yet. It's a yet, you know, yet, yet. Yes, I mean it's. I'll tell you what I like about Libre more than anything else is that the pace at which it's been evolving in the last couple of years. Oh yeah, they have accelerated the development mm -hmm. a lot, so that's what I like, right? Exactly, and they're actively listening to those that are actually using the software on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, not just in not just for professionals, because you use a Libre professionally, and they are very much listening to professionals, but they're also listening to the hobbyists too, which is really cool. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. That's true, and that's, that's what you really get cool. with that's what you get with a small, agile, and dedicated team, yeah. right? Like, uh, for, for example, uh, this new slot tool, this slot tool is yes. amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is yep. a work of art. Like it is so easy. And you know, do you know that Alibre already had a slot tool? Yes. And it still yep. has that old one. Interesting. So if you need to do it with the old one, you still could. Okay. You still can. Okay. That's, that's amazing. Right. That is cool. I wouldn't even be able to tell you. And where... the old one, the old one has a lot of additional. Yeah, it's okay, right there. Shape. The old one has, yes, and it has a lot more uh, options because you can actually pattern through okay. that. You can actually pattern inside that tool. Okay, that's interesting. Right. So if you, yeah. So if you give it dimensions, like give it, you know, what was this? Uh, One thirty by seventy. And then you select a point, right? Okay. And then select. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, it's 200. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's like the point. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. It. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, so you see those pattern types. You can actually pattern straight from there. You just click on anyone. Huh. Okay. And then you see what it's doing. Pitch. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. That. Huh. So that's that's really cool uh, functionality, which they have kept in, right? But they still give you the slot tool for when you need it. So that's why I... It's not just that they made the slot tool, you know, work the way we wanted it to work. It's that they kept this old one in, which has a lot of great functionality as well. Yeah, that's okay. I really like that, actually. In case you... Yeah, basically they've... Um, they've kept the backwards compatibility. Backwards compatibility. Yep. That's, uh, that's really nice. Yep. Okay, very nice. Yes, that's really cool. Um, I am really hoping to see a Libre really on see Linux. A Libre on Linux. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. Uh, I've said it on the forums. Mm. A Libre is the last thing that's keeping me on Windows. Right? Yeah, basically. At this point, yeah. I can do whatever uh, whatever I do with Microsoft Office. I can do with Libre Office. Yep. Right. Uh, so as soon as the Libre, uh, uh, you know, gets ported over for Linux, I'm I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm bye bye. The only things keeping me on Windows now are, are uh, Libre and um, and Photoshop. But even Photoshop, there's so many good alternatives on Photoshop. on um, Linux. So and yeah. by now they might. I still use CS6 from over ten years ago for Photoshop. So there's a good right. chance that it's been ported to Linux already anyway, and it might work just fine in Wine for all I know of. But either way, it'll get there. Yeah, I, I don't use Photoshop, but I do use In Inkscape, which okay. I really like. Okay. I haven't heard of that one. I might have to try it, though, because if, if it works well, I might have to switch to it. I've tried a bunch of alternatives recently. It's you know what Inkscape you know what I use Inkscape for and it's really good at it. Uh, if you want to turn a picture into an SVG or DXF, if you want to okay. trace a picture into okay. a DXF, it's really good for that. Okay, yeah, that's really useful actually, because you can use that. Um, actually, you can use that in three D printing as well for because um, I don't do like laser printing or anything, uh, laser cutting or anything like that. But you can import those into the slicer for three D printing. Yeah. Uh, Revan Master says I used Krita for sketching. Uh, and then you own Clip Studio. Nice. Very cool. All right. Uh, Brandon, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Nice. All right. Uh, okay, sorry for that. You're all good? So, sorry for that. We had a, a bit of an emergency. Absolutely. Take care of whatever you need to take care of, man. You, you're the family man. Yeah, yeah. Just give me one. Okay, it seems that uh, the other super superhero in the family, which is my wife, she's handling it. Okay, I'm I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I've I've uh, I've heard that she's uh, involved in the company, so that's that's really cool. She's yeah, she's the other half. She's the other half. She's uh she's an HVAC engineer. Okay. So she's she doesn't okay. do a libre, but you know. Yeah. She does stuff that I don't understand. So there you go. Uh it's Brandon Brandon in the chat knows all about uh HVAC stuff. Um maybe not him there himself, you go. although he uh he he's probably learned stuff by now. But uh his dad actually fixed my air conditioning for a good bottle of liquor. Good bottle of liquor. So. Okay, that's good. 
uh, it, I guess it's in the family. So I don't know if he's still <laughs> here or not. I know he was on vacation, so I don't know if he's still here. My dad owns an HVAC company. He is still here. Hi, Brandon. He sure does. There you go. He sure does. So there you go, man. Cool. Kudos then. HVAC, man, I'm telling you, it's a lot more complicated than most people think, right? It's crazy. If you want to do it right, if you want to, you know, uh, make a mess, it's pretty easy. But if you want to do it right, I mean, <laughs> that's true. That's with most things, though. That's with most things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yes, Brandon, Brandon's dad does own an HVAC company and he's, he, he's darn good at it. That's for sure. Darn good at I do it, know that. Sure. There you go. All right. Well, this part is cursed. Part we're gonna cursed. we're gonna get rid of this part. It is cursed. It is cursed. It is cursed. It's a it's a good Halloween part. Yes, it is. <laughs> Too bad we're two days late, yes. but that's okay. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, my grandpa can do tr uh, trig to design the sheet metal fittings in his head. He's insane. Wow. Yep. Wow. That's crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Yeah. I mean, we have yep. become reliant yep. on computers recently, so I couldn't imagine doing imagine CAD and coming up with some of these calculations on graph paper. I couldn't do it. Graph paper, I couldn't do it. Yep. You know what? Uh, you know, you know the machinery's handbook, which is basically, you know, a, a mechanical design bible, right? Okay. And uh, and in it, you it, they've got like tons of pages. I think it's like 20, 15, 20 pages. And it has trigonometry numbers, right? Uh, for for from angles from zero to three sixty by zero point zero one uh, angle, right? So right. zero point zero one angle trig numbers zero point zero two angle, and it goes all the way to three sixty. So you know back then you didn't have a calculator, so yeah. you went there if you had a weird angle, you went there and you found the, huh. the trig numbers. Maybe that Brandon. Maybe and that's I, and I have met. Maybe, a, maybe he memorized the book. Yeah, and he. Yeah, I've met a few, uh, you know, uh, tech guys and uh, workers and machinists that have memorized most of the angles there. They can quote that's them crazy. off the top of their head, which is amazing. That's crazy. I could not imagine. I have enough stuff packed up here as it is. I don't know if I could fit any more up here in my head. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, man. I definitely know what you mean. It's crazy. So, uh, we have learned a lot today learned as far as uh, yep. CAD goes. Uh, We've done a couple different models. We we attempted Swoopy Lofty, and apparently it is definitely, definitely, definitely cursed. Definitely, definitely cursed. Uh, Brandon says, yep. I just wanted to see what you were up to. I'm uh, just going to drop a silly, uh, in a silly project to your DM I recently worked on. I came into a more serious conversation serious of conversation. Pop Violator. Brandon, I'll see you later, Brandon, man. Uh, we I'll plan on going man. for like I'm another like 18 hours or like 16 hours or something, hours or something like that. Uh, the schedule's down below, Brandon. Uh, so if you want to see what we're up to, schedule's down below. Okay, man. Um, so, Adam... Uh, it's been amazing, but I, I sure think has. I need to drop off sure. a bit early. That's okay, really man. Sorry for that. No problem at all. It's been a and, pleasure. Uh, no, man, it's it's been a pleasure for me. Absolutely. And if you ever, you know, in in in, in these streams, if you ever uh, play Warframe, uh, okay, okay, I got up. you. I do own it. It's been a long time since I played, but I, we'll we'll have to play some Warframe together. Yeah, man. All right, man. Let's go. Sweet. <laughs> All right, I've got I've got a few right. I've got a few prime frames, nice uh, maxed out, so nice. it should be nice. Uh, so yeah, my brother wants to play again, Warframe Adam. with us too. So all right, yes, Warframe. Sweet. There you go. Let's 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 get a party let's going. It. It's it's not a good time now, but no, yeah. But, uh, awesome man, thank you so much for stopping going. by. Let's, let's okay, that's awesome. Okay. No, thank man. you so much for thank your you. help. Uh, yeah, and uh, let me just say before I go that I love that you're doing this for the children. As a young dad, well, I mean, as a new dad, not a young dad, but as a new dad, I completely appreciate what you're doing, and I know the the you know the fear when when something happens to the kid and you need to rush it to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, over here, emergency and most medical care is free. Mm -hmm. 
right? So I, I can't imagine how it would be, you know, to to need to go to a hospital and not have one near you mm -hmm. or not be able to afford one near you. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be awful. So I think that what you're doing is amazing. And I think that, you know, well, thank good you, on you for doing it. And everybody who's contributed is a complete legend. Yes, they are. We've got, we've already made 45 bucks, which is basically double what we did last year, guys. I'm already so happy that we've, we've got this kind of money. So, and, and hopefully we can uh, do a lot more. We're going for many more hours, yep. but uh, Mr. X Machina, you yourself are a legend. You have already taught me so much no, no. just in a couple hours. So uh, everybody, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, go check him out. And uh, this will probably be re-uploaded, this, this section on YouTube on its own as well. But uh, So I'll put that in the description when this is on YouTube. Cool. But anyway. Cool, cool. Again, thank you, Adam, thank you so much. And... Uh, I, I love that you had me on. Uh, I loved having you yeah, on. So, uh, all right, man. I will so. see you later. Bye -bye. All righty. Bye, bye All righty, everybody. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, here in a sec, I am going to press the intermission button, and I'm going to go take a quick, brief break. All I'm going to do is go to the bathroom, refill my water again, and we will come back. Ugh, excuse me. We'll come back a little bit early for uh, some Gunfire Reborn with my brother, who um, who is uh, raring to go. Um, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. So I will see you then. Bye.